spot, nah, I'm Jay. C-Dub on the beat. Back against the wall, CL20's knocking ready. IGI's tripping, validated, shoot ready. Brown and Carson. Hey, yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day. Feeling blessing like I always say. It's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. So with that being said, sorry, man. I'm under the weather a little bit, but I'm still coming through for y'all, man. I know y'all wanted the torta tail again. I was like, it's a, it's a, it's about due. It's about due. So I got one for you guys. With that being said, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. Always leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check the links in the description for my Apple and Spotify music. Go ahead and run my streams up. And you can check out my playlist section on my YouTube channel. Check out my music right there. Thank you guys for you guys' time. Most importantly, thank you guys for you guys' support. These are the tales. The Torta tales. All right. This Torta right here, her name was Amanda, right? Crazy. Thick. Super thick. The only problem was... She was another girl I met on Facebook. Remember, I was going through that phase where I was just trying to knock girls off Facebook. And um, for some reason, they all look skinny in their stories. She never posted a picture like on the on the feed. It was always in her stories. So I see her stories and she be playing some songs. And then she uh she was a big fan of my music. So me, I was like, damn, well, hell yeah, I got hella girls getting at me about my music, bro. And that's when I didn't, I wasn't even popping like that, bro. I think I had like one music video that had like maybe six or eight thousand views in like in a month and i was like that's pretty good so she, we would chop it up all the time and then uh i'd always like call her on the phone i wasn't into texting a lot so i'd call her and be like well you know we had you know we exchanged words you know i was trying to get at her but like i said for in her facebook stories she was she looked skinny i don't know how she reduced 200 and something pounds to make it look like she was 170 right i don't know how you go from 365 to 170 that is a big difference Seriously, her Facebook, her Facebook stories, slim thick. In person, Lizzo. Big, big Lizzo. A Mexican version of Big Lizzo. I'm like, whatever, bro. So, so before I even find out she's like humongous Taurus, you know, I'm, I'm gaming her up on the phone, bro. I'm doing all my flirtation stuff, man. I'm, I'm spitting the gift of gab at her. You know, I'm just trying to knock something down real quick. Maybe like, maybe, that was my thing back then. I knock them down like two or three times, bro, and then I was out. But I was at least respectful about it. I would let them know, like, bro, I ain't trying to get in no relations, bro. I ain't trying to date none. I'm just trying to stroke something. That's it. That's, that's all I could do. You know, I'm young. I'm fresh out. A lot, a lot of women were cool with it. A lot of women were cool that I would be like, yeah, I'm next week enough to be with this girl. But after that week, you know, you know, I got you. On that Sunday, I got you. You know, we can, you know, we can go praise the Lord and I can praise your body. Don't even trip because that was the only day I had off was Sunday. So there was this one night I was like, man, what's up, man? Let me see what your body looks like, man. Let me know, let me, let me know what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm trying to earn here. And she was like, I don't got a body like that. I was like, well, in your Facebook stories, man, you look all right, man. I know you got something, bro. You got to be caked up somewhere. You know what I mean? I know your mama fed you something. I know you're thick. And she was like, I have a belly. And then I said, I was like, red flag. But uh, at least she advised me in advance, bro. I mean, you know, she gave me that. She showed me on the bottle there's a warning sign. So, you know, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll accept that. At least she, I, was, I was warned, all right? So I was like, well, let me see a picture of it. And she's laying on her, on her stomach. I mean, no, she's laying on her back. And then she takes the picture like this. And when I see it, it doesn't look big. Cause you know, I, but obviously now I think about it, you know, it's not like this because she's laying down. So it went flat. I was like, oh, that ain't bad, man. You got a little something I can tug on. And she's like, uh, no, I got a stomach. I was like, man, you nothing wrong with a little bit of stomach, man. A little bit of pudge, man. It's all right, man. If you got a couple of egg burritos right there, you go for eight one day and... It's all good. Don't even trip. And I can handle that. I can really handle that. She goes, I hope you can handle it. So we're doing all this flirtation stuff. Then I was like, let me see a picture of your feet. And then she shows me a picture of her feet. And I was like, thank God, snap, deletes everything in 24 hours, bro. Because those feet were ugly. And then she didn't even paint them. And like one of them looked like a, a, like a, like a T-Rex toenail, bro. I was like, oh, man, like well, you should know better. Women, you should know better. If your feet ain't done right and, you, and a guy asks you for a feet picture... You know, how come I was able to get, how come I got a forewarning, a warning sign on the label that the stomach was chubby? Well, yeah, my feet are tore up. She could have told me she had razor blade toenails, bro. I was like, oh, I couldn't erase that image on. It's like right there and snap for 24 hours. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to open it. I'm going to leave her on red for a little bit or delivered, whichever one it was. And then she was like, you work tomorrow? And I was like, yeah, man. And her, I guess her spot was in the same city where I was working at, which was Hanford, California, Central Valley Me. She goes, yeah, man, I got a prima that works there. I'll have her take me over there. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. That's what's up. 
I go, what, what, what time though? She goes, what time's your lunch? I go, usually I'll take my lunch around 1030. That's, that's be the latest I can take my lunch. And she goes, yeah. I was like, what's up, fool? You gonna bring something to eat or what? She goes, really? I was like, why not, man? You over here showing up on my work or you over here seeing me working hella hard. You know, I'm starving. The least you could do is, you know, pay for my services, man. I'm providing the meat of this fucking country. Uh, you know, that's meat that you eat. That's meat that your kids eat. You know, I'm providing a service out here, a supply and demand service. The economy's floating because of me because I'm over here cleaning up this mess. Hook me up with some Jack in the Box. You know, so I sell it to her and she was like, all right. You know, I, I, what do you want? And I was like, I don't care. Just buy me a burger and some fries. It's all good. 1030 comes and I'm like, man, like, what, is she really going to feed me? Or I'm going to have to feed her, my wiener snitchel. I wasn't sure. But I'm soaking wet. I was working sanitation, so I'm soaking wet. I smell like bleach and all kinds of chemicals. So 10.30 comes, I punch out, and I'm walking real fast. Like, all right. And I get on my phone, and I'm, as I'm walking out the gate, I'm like, man, where you at? She goes, man, we're parked right here, such and such, in this white vehicle. It was an old beat-up vehicle. And, I, and I, so I see it, and I'm like, all right, I see you. And I'm walking, and I'm going towards the passenger side. But I noticed that there's somebody in the passenger side and the driver's side. I'm like, oh shit. So I can't go to the passenger side. I totally forgot that her cousin was gonna drop her, I mean, I'll drive her through. So I go to the side and behind the passenger is a baby in the seat. I'm like, oh great, bro. Well, for sure I ain't feeding her in my wiener snitch today. This is not happening, bro. And then I said, oh man, I was gonna give her some dick cheese. And y'all know about the dick cheese, bro. I was gonna feed her some dick cheese mixed with bleach, bro. She was gonna get it. I was gonna feed her mouth, bro. I was not tripping, bro. I only had a 30 minute break. So I go in on the other side and I'm like, and I sit there and this dude, no lie, bro, tripped me out. Her and her prima damn near looked identical. So I sat back and they were like, hey, what's up? And they were like, hi. And I was like, they both said like, hi, what's up at the same time? I was like, Hey, what's good, man? What's going on? And then I was like, which one are you, fool? Because her, what I'm failing to, what I'm failing to say is her Facebook stories. She used hella extra layers of filters. She like, I like, she used like seven layer dip of filters, bro. She had a lot, so I, but I knew what she looked like from just her. But but seeing her with another person that looked damn near like her, and I got stuck. I was like, what's good, man? What y'all love to, man? And I'm just like, man, which one y'all is gonna talk to me? Ooh. But then I noticed. The, the, the jack in the box at her at the bottom of her feet. So she grabs the bag and she goes like this, but she doesn't want to turn towards me. So I'm like, okay, that's Amanda. I know that's Amanda. So I was like, hey man, good looking out. Cause you know, the, the prima ain't gonna buy me none to eat. So, you know, put two and two together, that's Amanda. So I'm eating, right? And I'm look, dude, two burgers, two sets of fries, a soda, extra curly fries. I was like, man, look, just cause, hey, just cause you eat like this don't mean everybody else does, bro. Like, this is this is a fat bag. Bro, I'm probably going to get through the hamburger and a handful of fries. So, you know, I started being hella judgmental. I was like, man, is this your is this your consumption every day? Is this is what you eat before you go to bed? This is like your midnight snack because this is unhealthy, for one. For two, I don't like that you assume that I can tolerate this kind of, this kind of a heavy meal. You know, don't put me in your category of, uh, of food consumption. Don't do that. And so she's facing forward, right? And I'm back here, and I'm just like, all right, man, I'm topping it up with them. And now the driver, and she's kind of like like this and talking to me. But homegirl Amanda ain't looking at me. And I'm kind of wondering why. And I was like, what's up, Amanda? Can I see you one time? She goes, you can see me from your peripheral. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, first of all, since you want to go that route, you barely even fit in my peripheral all right, I, I, but I, I can still see you, but I'm trying to see your face. You know, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to see a little bit of the, I don't care if you got a stomach, which I noticed, I swear she had her hands on her stomach like this, bro. It looked like she was smuggling a watermelon in her, in her shirt. Big old gut. And I was like, whatever. But as, as long as she has, you know, some, some ladies up here, the girls up here that are, that are huge too. And, you know, sitting on, like if her, like if her boobs were sitting on her stomach, like it was a beanbag, I'd be fine with that. As long as those were big, I can. I like to have something to play with. I don't want to just sit there and just, you know, roll around in, in guts, bro. I want to roll around in other stuff too. But she doesn't want to face me, and I'm hella mad. Like, man, you, you, you're wasting my time. This is my 30 minute lunch. I'm grubbing. We get to topping it up, and when it was like five minutes to 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 go back in, I was like, all right, man, I head back in. I got to clock in. I got to make. My, I have to walk out of far. So, and I just whatever food I didn't eat, I just threw it on the ground in the back of the. The, the car was already a mess, anyways, bro. So. They need to vacuum it out anyways, bro, so they can vacuum out my trash. 
And I was like, all right, I'm going to head out. I'll give you a call when I get home tonight or I'll talk to you tomorrow. And then that's when she goes, okay. And then she turns around and she leans forward. And then I seen the face. I was like, damn. Like the filters did wonders, bro. Because she was like, dude, I don't know how you can make, I don't know how a filter can make you look so skinny. I, like the filter gave her sharp cheekbones, a sharp J-Lo chin. I don't know what happened, but this one right, right here, dude, I seen her face was hollow around. So I'm like, bro, no way. All I kept thinking was like, okay, we got a pumpkin stacked on top of a watermelon, stacked on top of two chicken legs that came out of a KFC bucket. That's what I was looking at right here. I'm like, I, uh, so I give her a kiss back because I'm a gentleman. You know, at least that's the least I could do. So, you know, I go back inside, right? And I have to, I have to walk through the security gate. And there's a security guard right there. And as I'm walking, I don't say nothing. I'm hella cool with the dude. And as I clock my, my badge in and I move, all I hear is the security dude goes, fool, oh, some big ass bitches, bro. And I stopped and I broke out laughing. I was like, man, how'd you know they were for me? He goes, bro, I seen the moment they pulled in before you even clocked out. I was like, damn, those are some big ass bitches. And I was like, yeah, man, I just met her on Facebook. He was like, damn, fool, you gonna knock it down? You gonna, you gonna hit it? I was like, bro, I had, that's my legal right to hit that, bro. So, of course, I'm going to exercise my legal right, man. That's my that's my Sixth Amendment right there, man, to knock down the big girls, bro. So, trust me, I'm going to do it. And he was like, bro, you're a better man than me, man. I was like, I don't think I'm a man for doing this, bro. I think I'm a sucker and a savage at the same time. But still, I can't pass it on, bro. It's like it's like having coupons to free meals, bro. I just ain't going to pass them up. I'm not going to pass this up. So, I go back in. About four days later, after chopping it up every day, it wasn't the same. Like, it was just regular conversation. I wasn't trying to flirt with her. I wasn't trying to see her yannies on Snap. I wasn't trying to see her flaps on Snap. I wasn't trying to ask her for nothing. I was just sitting here like, bro, when it happens, it happens. And then once I'm done, I'm, I'm going to let her down softly. Like, hey, look, I'm sorry, bro, but, you know, you gave me neck cramps or something. I was going to say something like, hey, bro, I'm diagnosed with uh, a spinal disorder or something. I can't lift your body up, bro. It's gonna ace. You're gonna you're gonna ruin my health, bro. My physical well being. I'd have said something like that, bro. But when the day came, I'm about to go to work, and she goes, "Hey, uh, let me go. Uh, let me go. Let me go see you at lunch." And in my head, I'm like, "Bro, I'd rather be on my phone looking for other girls to knock down, bro. You're kind of wasting my time." That's what I was thinking, but I didn't tell her. I was like, yeah, what we finna do? So I had to make sure we were going to, I ain't, ain't going to let her feed me again like the way she, I don't want to end up like her in two, meal, two meals later, bro, her size, bro. I ain't going to be able to work. And she goes, nah, I asked my prima if I could borrow her truck and uh, we can, we, you know, we can get down in the back. I can, I can put down the back seats. It turns into like a big bed. So I'm like, hmm, you know what? That dick cheese I wanted to give her, my wiener schnitzel is covered in it today. I didn't even shower. I went straight to work. I was like, I'll give it to her. So same time, 10.30 comes, and nah, I'm hauling ass over there. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm about to get some, and then I'm gonna come back and brag to everybody, like, hey, what'd you eat? Nothing. I ate some booty. I get to the security station, and I'm about to clock out. He was like, hey, fool, only one of the big girls showed up, man. I was like, yeah, it's gonna go down right now, bro. Don't be staring at the camera neither, bro. You might see my ass cheeks all on the air. He was like, bro, I don't plan on it, bro. Like, I'm going to turn around, bro. That's nasty. You know, I was like, hey, don't judge, fool. Don't judge, bro. If she lets you hit it right now with me, you probably do it. He was like, yeah, I got a wife at home, bro. Way better than that. I'm like, whatever, bro. So I go out there. And when I come out there, bro, I swear to God, the back of the truck, the door's up, and she's fixing it. She put the, the back seats forward and, like, slid them forward a little bit. And then she's laying blankets down. I was like, oh, shit, we're having a picnic date and some sex in a, in a, in a parking lot of a slaughterhouse? Bro, this is this is new heights right here. This is new levels right here. Mac Dre ain't got nothing on me, bro. I'm knocking stuff down at work. Everybody does that though. So why am I even bragging? So as I'm walking forward, right, I, I don't think to strip down. I'm thinking like we're gonna we're gonna get back there, sure, shut the door, then I'll strip down. Hell no, nah, bro. First of all, she's standing outside of the truck, barefooted, in gravel rocks, barefooted, with her T-Rex claws. I was like, huh. And she came in these, uh, it was uh, like these dark blue shorts and this dark gray t-shirt, no bra. So as soon as she was like, you ready? And like, she looked like she had this face, bro. Like, you ready? Like she, she ain't never did this before. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a red t-shirt on and light blue jeans. And it was like, my red t-shirt was like soaked from here to here. My pants were soaked around my knees. So I was soaking wet. 
So it's gonna take me a little while to peel off my shirt and my clothes. So she just goes, boom, in the middle of the parking lot. Bro, I swear, man, one titty went this way, the other titty went this way. Her stomach did a jiggle for hella long, and then she just pulled her shorts down. Boom. I was like, first of all, and then, oh my God, bro, she's like, she she, she got, she didn't have no panties on, so she, she was ready. She was well prepared. She like marinated everything, you know what I mean? So I can, you know, season up my sirloin. So she, she gets in the car, and I, I, I see her butt, and I was like, man, why does that look like a half-cup bell pepper, bro? Like, I don't get it. If you're going to be big and you're going to gain a lot of weight, I, I understand. And I'm not body shaming nobody, bro, because I, I, my body's tore up right now. But these are my torta tail, so I have to tell it the way I have to tell it to make y'all laugh. But so I'm, in my head, I'm like, damn, like, if you're going to be big and, 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 and thick, isn't it supposed to hit all the major areas, like the chichis and the butt and the thighs? And then the stomach and the sides get the rest, and then, you know, you get your extra little... No. So she bends over this little bell pepper butt, and I'm like, I'm still going to eat it. I'm still going to eat it, bro. I'm already here. So I come out my shirt. It took me a while, man, and I feel all cold. The wind's blowing, and my nipples are hard. Like, I can cut glass with them. I was like, ah. So I get, I don't take my pants off. I get in the back, and then she just lays down. Boom, and the legs go, woof. I'm like, damn, okay, at least you're, at least you're flexible. So I pull my pants down halfway. I'm in. I'm in. You know, sometimes when you're in motion, you know, most of the time the girls like put their hands like over here, like behind your head. She was holding a, she was holding something on the back, right? And my hands ended up right here on her arms, on her biceps. And the whole time I'm doing my Dougie, boom, boom, boom. I'm like squeezing on her, uh, on her arm fat. Bro, you know those little floaties little kids wear when you put them on their arms so they can go swimming so they can float in the water? That's what they felt like, bro. I was like, hey, first of all, you ain't got no bicep muscle. You need to do some curls. And second of all, they're like squishy. So the whole time, like, I was pretty much bang, I was pretty much banging her and giving her a massage at the same time. So think about it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. Bell pepper butt. You know, big, 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 big boobs. We got floaty. She got polar bear arms. You know what I mean? The thing that messed me up, but it was like I said, I did my thing with her. I appreciated her for letting me hit it. It was cool. But the whole time, like, some girls close their eyes or some girls will look down at what's going on. This one right here, I swear to God, she had the face like the exorcist of Emily Rose. Just like, like her eyes are rolled back. I was like, oh, my God, why am I having sex with the Undertaker, bro? Really, I'm having sex with the Undertaker. She's like, oh, 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 and her eyes were rolled back. I was like, oh, damn, did my thing. Boom, and then she just lay there like. By the time I was done, I think I had like maybe 10 minutes left before my lunch break was over. And it, I don't know why. I was like, hey, I rolled over and I was like, hey, did you bring something to eat real quick so I can eat? She's like, no. I was like, well, whatever. Whatever happened to Jack in the Box? I thought that was going to be a common thing. When you show up to work and I provide my services for you, I'm supposed to get paid for my services. Jack in the Box. That's all I ever wanted was Jack in the Box. I love Jack in the Box. She didn't bring me no Jack in the Box. And so now I'm about to throw a goddamn fit back here. So I was like, all right, you know what? I put my clothes back on. She's putting her clothes back on. We open the back. I get out. For some reason, I got out like on some stellar mode, bro. I started looking around like, I hope nobody sees me. And then I looked back at her and I was like, all right, I'm finna head back in, man. I'll call you when I get home. And she was like, but she was like nervous too. Like, okay. Like she's got the business though, but she was like, okay. And then boom, she gets in her car and I walk back. And I was like, and I was, I'm walking to the, 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 the security uh, station and I'm like, man, this fool's going to say something stupid again, bro. Man, hell nah, bro. So I go back in and I clock my badge and I look at him like with a weird look and he just looked at me and he just went back to his phone. And I was like, all right, cool. He ain't going to say nothing. I don't feel like getting a lecture right now. And that's how it worked. And no lie, because I'm, I'm a still at the end of the day, I, make, I may make fun, but you know, I'm cool with all these people that I, that I talk about. Like I still was in touch with her. To this day, I'm still in touch with her. But that time, she was, I, I called her up, and I was like, all right, man, I'm going to wait till she asks me to hit it again. I'm not going to press the issue. I got my issue, but I'm not going to press the issue. And sure enough, fool, she never asked me to ever go back in the parking lot. Now, I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't know if my performance wasn't A+. Plus. You know, she probably gave me a C- minus because it was fast, and it was cheesy, and I smelled like bleach. You know what I mean? But you know, I'm gifted down there to an extent. You know what I mean? So I'm skinny and decent. But she never, she, we just ended up becoming cool ass friends. Like her thing was like, she liked to, she liked coffee dates. 
So she would take me on coffee day sometimes, like right before work. She'll go take me to like a coffee shop she met. I'll eat like a coffee. I'll drink a coffee and like eat a Danish real quick. But I always said like, hey, bro, I'm gonna get, if she wants it again, I'll give it to her again. To this day. But come to find out, she was just wanted to mess with me because it had been like, I think was it like almost two years. And uh, the person, her baby's daddy was coming out of the pen the following year. So she just wanted to get a cool little issue, have her a little fun. And then he wound up coming out and they're together. And I, I see him on Snapchat all the time. And he's always in bed with her. And I was like, man, look at that, man. It don't matter how big you are. Big, you know, Lizzo did it. Lizzo made all the big girls sexy. I'm making all the big girls sexy. And FYI, Mr. Criminal, I don't care what anybody says. I was the one that started telling Torta Tales on the yard. I was the one that came up with the Torta song. You guys can go look it up on my live. I think he stole my damn idea. But I'm still going to finish the song. And I'm going to do a music video with it. Because I'm going to try to trump that. And I'm going to make... But I, I still think Mr. Criminal stole my song, bro. And everybody else says it too. I know a lot of people are going to call it bullshit. But he stole my song. Just want to put that out there. So with that being said, like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. Peace.